Hawaii Five-O. Uh... Right in the nuts. It's enough to put anybody down. Welcome back, everybody, to 7 Ace and I. I'm an old guy gaming, and we play this game on insane difficulty. The zombies are all set to nightmare speed, and we have a hell of a fun time doing it. Okay, so in this episode, uh, I'm going to give you an update on where we are with the building project. For those of you who have not been watching uh, the casual construction series. Uh, so basically, we have our foundation um, framed out. We haven't uh, actually upgraded the block yet, as you can see. Uh, for floor, uh, the first floor of our base, and this is going to be the crafting room. Um, I have built or dug a stairwell uh, down to what is currently the garage area. And uh, the garage is a little smaller than I had envisioned. And it works okay for the motorcycle, but when we get the 4x4, four four, we might have to uh, dig it out a little bit more uh, to to, for it to fit. I, I won't know until I actually try it. Um, and of course we need the four by four to do that. Uh, so we'll wait and see how that goes. But if it turns out that we do need to make it a little bit larger, uh, what we'll probably do, I mean, we could take it a little more this way, or we could take it further to the South and have it go underneath the stairwell with the idea being that we come in here with the four by four, we turn in here, we come around and then pull back out forward facing this way. So we're ready to leave again when the time comes. And that works fine on the motorcycle, but I'm thinking it might be a little bit tight in the 4x4, but we won't really know until, you know, we get the 4x4 so that we can try it. Okay, so we've got all that done. Let's hippity hop back up our stairwell here. Um, and then the other big thing I worked on is um, this area over here. So this is going to uh, be our garden area over here. And then all these blocks that you see along the perimeter uh, will be our wall and uh, I'm going to upgrade it all to reinforce concrete and we'll uh, you know we'll probably put some spikes down early on but eventually I plan to have turrets um, out here you know just to keep the Zikos clear uh, you know clear off the wall itself or clear from the wall so that's pretty much where we're at uh, with the base uh, what we're going to do now though is uh, I also brought a bunch of stuff up from our base down in, the, in town I made some more forges I picked up the concrete mixer, one of our tool benches, and I made another Kim bench so we still have it down there because I'm not quite ready to move all the way up here yet, but I wanted to bring some crafting stations up, you know, so that we can be working on making stuff up here that we're going to need, like concrete and that sort of thing. Uh, so we're going to put all of this stuff uh, into here for the moment. This is just a temporary storage bin, of course. Um, let's put all that stuff in there, too. We'll put the stone in. We'll keep the the wood with us. Let's put these on, too. But uh, what the plan is for this episode is we're going to go... I've got three quests to do. One of those quests is, once again, uh, the House Modern 5, which is right down the hill. I decided to take that one again because uh, it's got so many bookcases in it. Uh, but what I'm going to do is I'm not going to show you the whole thing. I'm just going to go through this um, off camera, but what I'll do is um, I might show just the kills um, and definitely will show, you know, the loot and the bookcases. So we'll get that knocked out, but then we're going to go back to Trader Joel's Town, which are these, these two quests are in, and then work on uh, those quests in the latter part of this episode. So that is the plan. It is day 27, too, by the way, so uh, we have one more day before Horde 28. We're going to use the same horde base again, except for that I'm going to put um, hatches in place this time uh, instead of bars. And so I just have to make sure I give myself enough time uh, to do that as well. Okay, so let's go ahead and go get these quests knocked out. We are... Oh, shit. Man, I didn't hear him till he was right on us. Um... I, I've been attacked by by a couple of wolves and even a dire wolf up here since, since we since we've been up here building too. Um, we had a running horde come through too. The last time I was on before I had to stop the game and go do some stuff in, in real life, and they kind of they ran through here and then they kind of congregated down over there, but they didn't detect me because I I stayed quiet as they were running through. Uh, so nothing eventful happened there. Let's jump on our bike here. 
and go head down to that house and just knock it out real quick. Okay, let's see what we got. Nice stamina mod. Like that one. A little bit of meat there. That might give us enough uh, parts to make a, a steel shovel now. Okay, that's good stuff. And for the fat loons. Good, we found another bandolier mod. Fan freaking tastic. All right, we'll take all of that. What the hell? <laughs> uh, all right, guys. So that is it. Um, I'm going to go run back to the house, uh, do a little bit of inventory management really quick, stop off at uh, the trader. Um, actually, this trader is is just Bob, so let's do him first and get that turn in taken care of. And then I will meet you um, at uh, Trader Joel's town where we will... Um, do those other two quests. All right, so I'll see you over at Trader Bob's for the turn. All right, let's see what we get.
Here you go, friend. Whatever you <laughs> we got need, another bandolier mod. I think I'm gonna take the. Ooh. That's a nice upgrade there. Because I think. Are we wearing blue or purple leggings? Or boots? Yeah, see, that would that would actually be a good upgrade for us. Um, I wouldn't mind having that Magnum you either, go, but friend. whatever you need, just say the I'd word. rather have a little higher level Magnum than that. So yeah, I think I'm gonna take these because these are are definitely a nice upgrade for us, and they're the same, you know, at least in terms of uh, mod slots. So that's what we're gonna take. Let's take his next job. Um, we're going to be going back to the northwest. So, yeah, let's I take really this you, fetch friend. and clear here. So maybe all of those will be in the same town or close dark close dark by anyway. Okay, so I got. we're going to sell a bunch of stuff to him. Uh, I decided to hang on to these because, you know, they're all worth a, a hundred or more. So all of them together is, you know, a thousand or more banks. So we'll sell all of those. We already know all of these, of course. Uh, we did find the Iron Breaker schematic, which was a really nice find, uh, so I was happy to find that. Uh, we already have Nerdy Glasses on, so we don't need two pairs. We'll sell that and that. Uh, the Yellow Hammer and the Scrap Boots. So that gives us uh, 5,312 coin in addition to what we still have back at the... Oh, we want to sell this too. Uh, back at the base. Peace be with you, my okay. friend. Okay, um, let's see. When do you reset? Day 28, so tomorrow. He's going to have a new inventory tomorrow. I've already checked his inventory. Uh, I did that on the one of the building uh, episodes. Didn't have what you needed. Okay, let's check soon. this. We restock often. Some eye candy. And that's all we need. Okay. Hawaii 5 uh. Right in the nuts. It's enough to put anybody down. All right, guys, I'm going to go back to the base. Um, I'm going to do a couple of... This is no longer there. I'm going to do a couple of uh, inventory management things. Uh, looks like that fetch and clear is actually in our town, plus we have these two over here, so everything's kind of in that area. So I will meet you at the next quest. We are getting close... Uh, two, by the way, getting close to uh, finishing tier three. Uh, no, I don't think I want to go that way because there's pretty rough terrain. Uh, and getting into tier four, so it should be fun. All right, guys, I'm back. Um, we're actually going to hop on into Trader Hugh here and uh, sell a couple more things that I had back at the base. And let's also... Uh, get this stuff. Okay, looks like I didn't bring my cash hola with me. Nickel ain't worth a dime anymore. Let's. Yep, I think we're good. Okay, so we'll sell that. This is my old iron shovel. Oh, yeah, I made a steel shovel um, off camera because we found uh, some more steel parts. And um, what else did I do? I did something else. I had, I had to actually leave. Uh, the game for a little bit uh, after uh, I talked to you guys last, so I'm trying to remember what I did. <laughs> we made the steel shovel. And we put those mods on it. Oh, and I made the iron breaker, uh, which I'm not going to put on the pick unless we're actually mining, um, you know, like lead or or iron. Uh, but I'm going to keep Are it in the bike um, so that uh, it's available to us. Okay, now let's go uh, get all the food and the sugar butts. And a can of pasta. Okay. So we have a couple choices now. We could do this fetch and clear that's in town now. And then cross over and do these. But the problem with that is that, you know, then we're going to have to carry around a satchel before we go all the way back down to Bob to turn it in. So I'm thinking maybe we do the clear first. Get that out of the way. And then come over here and do this fetch and clear because trader Joel is the one that gave that to us. It's right across the street. So we can just turn it in immediately and then come back, swing back and do this one on our way back down here to trader Bob. So I think that's what we'll do. So I will see you guys over at that first fetch quest. Let me mark it too. So 
I've got the right, or I'm sorry, the first clear quest. So that is now our active one. All right, I'll see you guys over there. Okay, I think this is the house that has the underground lab. I'm pretty sure that it is. So that being the case, if we want to do a double loot on it, we have to... There's a spot that we get down to it from the outside. I think it, now that it, it might be actually around this way now that I think about it. Yeah, I think it's over here somewhere. So let's see if we can figure that out. Might be right around in here. Look at that. Look at that. Pretty good guess, eh? Yeah, so let's go down and uh, double loot. Let's close that. See how many Zeke's attention we got. Take him off at the legs. Dead? I think so. Okay. And there's the fat loots. Alright, let's see what we got real quick. Break that open. Anything else we need to break open? I don't think so. Alright, let's check it out. Oh, um, let me put these on too. Okay. Got some vitamins. It's always good. Look at that. Nice. Robotic turret schematic. Okay, that'll come in handy on Horde Night. While we got this open, let's clear a couple things out of here. Get rid of those things. Get rid of the grass. Drink this. Uh, we'll save that because we can make uh, first aid kits out of it. There is so much crap in this place. Okay, I think we got... Um, everything except for the fat loots themselves. Let's see what they got in there. Ah, oh, nice. That's going to be a nice upgrade, guys. Really nice upgrade. Okay, so let's see. Let's scrap a doodle this. And how's our food? We're actually doing pretty good on our food. We could scrap that, but that's not going to get us a space back. Uh, we don't need the clay. Um, 12 chrysanthemum is decent enough to hang on to, I think. So that gives us, what, five slots, and we have six that we got to do. So those will stack, though. And so will the nines. Nope, not quite enough, though, will they? Okay, well, let's do this, then. Let's just hold on a sec. <coughs> Excuse me. So let's make sure this is, in fact, an upgrade. Yeah, it is. Okay. So we still need a little bit more room to... Take the mods off temporarily. Um, so, what am I doing? Yeah, where are those? Modify. No, modify. Okay. And then, throw all those back on. Nice, okay. So that's a, a decent upgrade. So now we have um, iron gloves and iron uh, boots to replace our scrap metal. We've had that scrap metal for quite some time, uh, and it has served us well. So we have four slots left, and we have five items. So I think since those are super easy to make, we'll just scrap those. Okay. Um... I think that's it for lootable stuff in here. 
Um, pretty decent salvage in here too, but I don't think I'm going to take the time uh, to do that right now. So let's head on back up and then we'll start start the quest for real. Okay, so I guess it wants us to go up here because of the light. Wait, is that right? Don't remember coming up through the roof on the last time I did this quest. It's actually been a while since I've done this house. So I guess we'll take that for the moment. Shoot Ronald's head off. Oh, he dropped a bag. What do you know? Okay, let's pop these back on. Um, I guess I'll take that for now, but if we run out of room, then that'll be one of the first things to go. And we can eat this right now, too. Save the chili for chili dogs. Boy. I, I could have actually failed the quest there, huh, for a second. Okay, so the light is here, but I guess... Do we just go through the front door? Yeah. It actually has been quite a while since I've done this building, but I have done it before. Come on. Nice food. Oh, were we supposed to drop down through the roof? I guess it doesn't matter. The damn front door's open anyway. <laughs> um... I guess we'll take those, because, I mean, we are gearing up to get a garden going here soon. We're going to run out of room before we even get off the first floor here. I'm not going to pick up the cooking pot. More tuna. Well, we're still having a little bit of hunger there. Might as well use it, right? Okay, we got to get this. Get rid of that and get rid of that. We're probably going to have to make a drop chest. I don't see any other way around it. What is this? A clear? No puking allowed. Okay. Put these back on for XP. <laughs> Guess that's a concrete wall there. Man, there's a lot of food in this place. me right before I took her out. Don't care about that stuff. Alright, in the interest of inventory space, we're going to scrap these. Try to keep them whole if I can, because you get a little more, but right now inventory is more important. Nothing up there. That's going to go downstairs. Get somebody else's attention. Down here? Oh yeah, Edgar. I guess that's it for in here. Looking to see if there's any plugs in the wall. Okay, let's go down. Oops, not this way.
Let's see what's in here. Ah, uh, that's four bandages. Still easy to make, but we'll grab them for the moment. Not likely we're going to hang on to them, though. Okay, there's the door there. Don't think there's any secrets behind those barrels. The first time I ever did this POI, you know, it was pretty cool because I, I had never seen anybody else do it, so I didn't know what was down here. I was like, wow, this is crazy. At some point, I think we have to go up into the ceiling to get through. Ooh, that's a lot of Zikaroos. We might use a little crowd control on this one. Let's also upgrade this just to be on the safe side. We'll just go one level, though. So those guys can infect us. Though we did find an antibiotic. Okay, I think we have to go that way over there um that's gonna be a pretty healthy well healthy is not the right word <laughs> a, a pretty good supply of bones and rotten meat for our garden I'm not gonna have room for it though yeah we're gonna we're gonna have to make a freaking uh, drop chest that's all there is to it all right well let's let's finish clearing the place I think this is where we go up. Yeah. Just look and see if there's anything in here to loot. I've never actually tried to fully salvage this place, but I bet you could pull some good loot out of here. There's a bag there. More water? And another... Uh, that's just um, cloth, so... Where are you going, lady? Can I reach that door from here? Are they coming around this way? Oh, wow. How did they get over there? Hmm. They must have jumped out there and then came through the door, I guess. Huh. That just opens back up into there. Well, shit. Other than the, um... Oh, never mind. Never mind. It's gonna say something, and then I realized it does not apply. Does not apply at all. Okay, so we come through this way. Three Zikaroos. Oh, we got a threefer. <laughs> well, we hit all three of them, but we I think we only killed two. So we got a twofer and a threefer. A three for two for two for three three for two all right we got another kitchen here let's see what we got take the Joe not taking that stuff I want that for the garden and we already know these so, um, I think let's just get the XP from it, just for the sake of inventory. Okay, we got a couple of science thingamadoodles here. Same thing, we'll just 
eat that for inventory space. Um, I mean, both of these are good, but they're also both very easy to make. So I think I'm going to leave them there. Unless we... We can do that. And we could make a couple of duct tapes with this, I suppose. So it doesn't gain us any space back, but at least we didn't throw the glue away itself, so... All right, let's continue on here. We just looked at that. Guess we'll stand up here for the minute. There's two more Zikaroos. Come on, Zikaroos. Yeah. Where'd she wait? Where'd she go? Where'd she go? Oh, shit. <laughs> Dang. I couldn't see her. She was like right behind me, man. How funny is that? All the bunk beds for all their victims. That door's locked. Oh, this is nice. Uh, learn how to craft puffer coats, okay? Uh, we want this. We'll eat this. What are we going to give up for? that we are going to give up the well we could stand to eat so let's eat the cat food okay so i think that's it for in here or not okay we'll take that um we want those two how long does this last two minutes we could just eat it and then use it. Ah, oh, what the hell? Let's do it. Nothing in there. Don't care about that. Alright, come on, boys. Return to trader. Okay, the area has been cleared. All right, let's go up stairs, and um, we're probably going to have to make a drop chest. Those are probably just decorative vents. And then we'll come back down and do the fat loots. Still got a Zeke out here making a shitload of noise. Okay, we can put some stuff in here. Um, we're likely to find coffee down there. I don't know if we'll... I think there's a, another brass faucet down there too, so... I'm just trying to put stuff in here that'll... Or, or keep stuff in our inventory that'll stack with what we'll find down below. This we can use. Okay, hopefully that's enough room. That's just all that dirt. Okay, um, looks like we're getting close to time, so I think what I'm going to do is just um, show you the good loot. Not, I'll, I'll take care of all the basic stuff off camera. Uh, but I'll show you the, the good loot here, and then uh, we'll wrap it up. So let's look in these two boxes. All right, well, I guess we'll take that. I don't know, I might end up throwing that back out. We'll see. More vitamins. Very nice. Oh, oh look at that. Um, we also need to... Uh, be wearing those. A purple sledge turret. Hmm. Interesting. So more shoddy parts. And now for the fat loots. Oh, you know what? We, I think we have an eye candy. I think we have an eye candy up here. We might as well use it, right? Yes, indeed.
Okay, let's look at the fat loots. Ah, military boots. Okay, well, stuff to sell. Stuff to sell. All right, guys, I'm going to let you go here, and I'll, I'm going to take care of looting the rest of this. I'm also going to... That's like bullet... Oh, that's not... Isn't this bulletproof glass? It is. Anyway, I'll, I'll either break through here or go back around. I don't know. But I'm going to harvest all of those body bags in there, too, because it's going to get us, uh, you know, the rotten stuff that we're going to need for the garden and whatnot. What is this? That's just... Where did you come from? This is just, like, only one... Um, yeah, we could break this, actually, pretty easily. I wonder if he came down from up above. Off with your arm. Yeah. All right, yeah, I'll just break through there, because that's... That's not that hard to break at all. Anyways, all right, I'm going to let you guys go. We'll catch you in the next episode, and we will continue on with our adventure. Bye.